Hold on, making a TikTok. How to make a solid YouTube setup. First, you need a good soft light source. Second, you need good audio. And three, a wide angle lens for a nice perspective. Combine them with an interesting background and you get this. And posted. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're gonna be breaking down a couple of tips to get you started on TikTok. That's right, we're talking about TikTok today. And before you go anywhere, I was never even a big fan of the app because I thought it was just funny dancing videos or whatever, but then my mind is blown with the reach that you have on this platform. First video, 37,000 views. Second video, 1.2 million views. Let's get started. Okay, so my first tip on how to create viral TikToks, and that is focus on one niche. And this is what I mean. I'm a photographer, I'm also a video creator, but I'm a photographer first. And so before I was getting onto TikTok, I didn't even realize that people were posting educational content behind the scenes, this and that. I just saw some of my coworkers making funny videos and I was like, oh, I'm not really into that, so I'm not gonna get on that. I was wrong. And so when I first started, I was like, huh, I'll post behind the scenes of what I'm doing then because that's kind of what I see other people doing. I'm a photographer, so I'm gonna post, you know, editing behind the scenes, photo shoots, while I'm out in the field shooting, whatever. So if you're a videographer, if you're an artist, if you're a graphic designer, focus in on your craft and make your videos about that. That's tip number one. So now tip number two, now that you've honed in on that niche, you know what you're gonna make videos about, time to educate people with good quality content. And here's what I mean by that. Just like I do my YouTube videos, you can easily plan out a TikTok so you get that tip or that behind the scenes clearly and well done to your viewers. The first TikTok I ever did, I didn't even know what I was doing. Put the title in the wrong place, didn't even use all of the 15 seconds. I, I had no idea what I was doing, but that's the first one that I posted and it's currently at 371,000 views. All it is is a video of me showing what a polarizer can do in real estate photography. Let's check it out. How to get rid of reflections with a polarizing filter for wood floors. Got the polarizing filter on, now watch the magic. Watch the magic. Perfect. And that's all I did. I was like in the shoot. I wasn't even thinking about it. I was like, huh, let me try this out. This might be something that people might like. First day, 100,000 views, mind blowing. And now it's at 371,000. That's crazy. So after that, I kind of, you know, kind of just started thinking about these videos. And so the next day I was also editing a wedding. And so I was basically correcting this photo that was shot really underexposed and I corrected the exposure and put my edits on it. And I thought it was a pretty drastic change. And so I was like, I'm gonna make a video about this and let's check that one out right here. Let me show you why I shot this image really underexposed to turn it into this. I purposely underexposed this image a lot to save a lot of this highlight information. So then simply in editing, now I have all the information for the final. Let me not even a really good production video. And that's kind of the things I love about this because here for YouTube on this video, which you can see the behind the scenes of this on TikTok, I mean, that was the intro, but I'm using, you know, lighting, audio, really good camera, really good lens. Then I have to edit this, put it together. It's honestly really nice making these sometimes because of how easy it is to do them. And along with educating people with your content, here's something that you need to take into consideration. A lot of people don't know the common things that you might know in your craft. For example, me as a photographer, I thought people would easily know the difference between RAW and JPEG. And I was so wrong because the amount of comments I've answered on that video, people had no idea. And I'd be like, you have to shoot in RAW to do this, to you know have that, have that information, which is another TikTok I really need to make. It's on my notes. But what I'm trying to say is start with the basics. Even if you think some tip or whatever is really easy and something you learned in the beginning, someone might be scrolling through TikTok and not really even know that. So just think, what are some tips that you would have liked to know when you started doing your craft? And you'll be amazed at how many people that can honestly help out. Lastly, tip number three, maximize your reach. And so what I mean by this is use all the tools that TikTok provides to you to make sure that you're getting the maximum reach with your video. For all of the videos that I do, I put like five hashtags relating to the video. If that video ranks and gets a lot of views, a lot of exposure, if anyone goes searches, learn videography or learn photography, my video is gonna be there helping the video go even more. Kind of like Instagram, but it's a lot easier right now. Second, you can choose the cover of your TikToks. And so this is really important because what I do specifically when I'm doing edits is I show the before and after. And so especially that video where I was editing, 
you know, from that really dark exposure and correcting it to the normal one, I made the thumbnail, if you will, the cover, that change because it's like a little, it's almost like a boomerang where you can make your cover. And so making that drastic change is like, oh, whoa, whoa, I wanna check that out. How did that happen? Versus just a random part of the clip. So select your cover strategically. And so the final part of tip number three to maximize your reach is to not stop posting content. You never know who's watching, what's gonna happen when you post something that you've created. So don't get discouraged because I've been at this channel for about two, a little over two years now, and we're at 2,500 subscribers. Other people might be at 25,000, 250,000, millions, whatever, but I love what I do. I love doing this, and so I'm never gonna stop. I'm gonna try and find post more because consistency is a key to a lot of of these things but along with consistency good quality content is a must and don't stop there if you start getting videos with a lot of views which translate to followers maximize again your reach by linking your channel or something else that you want your viewers to go to and you'll be good to go but that's pretty much it guys those are my three tips on how to make viral tiktoks leave a like if you enjoyed and comment down any other tips you might know for tiktok i would love to check those out and subscribe if you haven't already i would love for you guys to be part of my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video See ya.